Thank you, Mr. Speaker. For Black History Month 2023, I am here to invite my colleagues not just to learn about Black history and culture, but I come to you with an awesome opportunity today. We have the opportunity to actually make Black history. Now, some of you are asking how. Thank you for asking. In this year, we can make Black history by being the first chamber to actually take action on sickle cell anemia. Sickle cell anemia is an extremely painful, organ damaging, deadly, debilitating disease impacting more than 160,000 Virginians. And every year, sickle cell warriors and those who love them come from across the Commonwealth to this capital Capitol begging us to do something. And for years, despite the efforts of Delegate Hayes, Senator Spruill, and others, sickle cell warriors have been treated by this body in the same way they are treated in hospitals across the Commonwealth. They are ignored, their pain is dismissed, and they're told to wait for a more opportune time to address their concerns. So when I heard in committee someone testify, not anyone in this body, but someone testified in committee about how sickle cell is just not as bad as rheumatoid arthritis, I thought to myself, our ignorance of this disease is killing people. Our ignorance of this disease and sickle cell, and the debilitating pain, organ failure, leg ulcers, strokes, pneumonia, pre which is a painful, sickling crisis of the penis, and described by clinicians as more painful than terminal cancer. And for those of us with sickle cell trait, like myself, our ignorance of this disease is robbing us of life-saving preventative care to avoid sudden death like that of 18-year-old Quandarius Wilson right down the street. And our ignorance of this disease is costing us millions of care every year. And one can't help but wonder why. Is it because of our Commonwealth's shameful history of medical racism? Is it because sickle cell warriors aren't loud enough and often struggle between hospital bed, home, and trying to advocate for themselves? Is it because we don't live in the right places? And Mr. Speaker, this year, unfortunately, we missed the mark. We have four opportunities to make black history by being the chamber that finally takes action on this disease, and we missed the mark. So my charge this Black History Month is let's make black history together by bringing forward our own measures to help those with sickle cell in our community because it doesn't matter who gets the credit. We can make black history by believing sickle cell warriors when they tell us they are discriminated against in hospitals. We can make black history by expanding funding for adult and pediatric sickle cell care. And Mr. Speaker, I just have to say, because there is a little girl who will be watching this when she gets home from school, and her name is Candace King. And she battles this disease fearlessly every single day. And for Candace, and for every child watching, you should know that you have a voice here. You will always have a voice here. You will always have someone fighting for you. And it may take longer than we expected, but we will fight and we will make black history together because I believe that if we just educate ourselves, we can do more to ensure that our children battling sickle cell don't suffer the same fates as Quandarius Wilson, Lauren Wade, Carol Buckley, Evan Smith, Devon Darling, Vaughn Murphy, and finally, but certainly not least, 
right here in Richmond, little 14-month-old baby Ortiz, who is currently in the hospital, fighting for his life after suffering a stroke related to sickle cell complications. So Mr. Speaker, this Black History Month and for the next year, let's make black history together by making sickle cell disease a priority. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.